Hello. <laughs> I'm so sorry about that. Uh, people are starting to join in. This is part two if you're watching the recording. Thank you. I'm back. I'm not sure what happened. Um, <laughs> I took advantage of that to uh, modify a little bit my camera so that you have this view. Hey, we're back. <laughs> I, I know I've lost quite a few. It's okay. They can watch the recording. Welcome back, everyone. Welcome back. Uh, the screen's reversed for me, but um, I just need to uh, know my paint palette is to my right. So if you are seeing the paint palette to my right on your screen, I, I'm the only one who's reversed. So if you could confirm that. How are you? I can be your moderator. Uh, Katrina, if you want to be my moderator, that would be great. I can put you as a moderator. Um, oops, hold on. There you go. You are a moderator now. Thank you so much. Much appreciated. Yay. Okay. Woof. <laughs> okay. <coughs> We're all thumbs up here. Okay. Phew. Um, there's always something that goes wrong with my live streams. <laughs> That's because I don't do enough of them, I guess. <laughs> all right. Paint is to the right. Perfect. <coughs> I know the chat is also quite delayed. So, um, Sorry about that. That I cannot do anything about. <laughs> okay, so I'm you're you're seeing the little houses. Uh, that's the last painting that I've done in my little uh, pocket doodler. This is the very first one that I did. Uh, was it? Mm, no, I think it was the second one that I put together. I've turned some of these actually in uh, uh, sticker forms. <laughs> But this is what I have so far. There's a whole bunch of pages that I can paint on on the left side. I actually added some paper uh, like on the right side. So I glued down uh, paper on this side because I don't like to paint on the wrong side. <laughs> I'm very picky. Uh, oh, thank you, Hooper Creations. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, so um, we have done the houses last weekend. It was quite popular uh, amongst people that wanted to um, recreate or work in their little pocket doodler because I have seen a few recreations on Instagram and that is so cool. I love uh, to see your recreations uh, on Instagram. That always um, pleases me. It's so much fun. Uh, watching the uploading video for Patreon, and you mentioned you will be online live. So here I am. Ah, oh, welcome, Miss uh, Miss Void. Yeah, I know there's a few patrons here. So welcome, welcome all. Um, how do you know the right wrong side of the paper? Um, you will feel the difference. Usually the right side of the paper has more texture. I can't really show you in this on this camera because it's very difficult to pick up the uh, the details. Uh, but usually the right side is more, I want to say fibery as opposed to the other side, which has more sizing. And unfortunately, you can only tell by touching it. You'll see also a difference in the way the uh, paint response uh, to the wrong side. If you buy your papers in a pack, uh, the right side is the one that will always be facing you as you open it. Um, yeah. I mean, some papers are good to be used on the wrong side. Don't get me wrong, you can do that. It's just that I have a preference. <laughs> I really do, and this is cotton paper, so Cotton paper is not so bad. You can use it on both sides, but cellulose paper is very tough to do on the wrong side. You, you'll know, you'll just have to uh, sample your pack that you bought and you can, you'll can you be able to tell. Uh, oh, hey, Kathy. I wasn't sure you were there. <laughs> uh, just got you back. Okay, cool. 
Ah, oh, wow, so many people. I'm sorry if I can't name you all because uh, there's lots of you and I'm so appreciating. Oh, thank you for the thumbs up. <laughs> thank you so much. Yeah, you can definitely feel the difference by touching. You're right, Hooper, yeah, definitely. All right, so what I was going to do today, and I'm going to hit the record button on my other camera, <laughs> is um, I was going to paint butterflies on here. What do you guys think? I don't think I've ever painted butterflies, and I wasn't sure. <laughs> I wasn't sure of the, uh, the shape. I mean... I do have a basic understanding of, <coughs> of what a butterfly should look like, but um, I wanted to have different, okay, so different versions. So uh, what I did is I went on Pinterest and I saved a few photos. So uh, just as a guide, and then I wanted to also see a butterfly, uh, like a side view. And I was thinking of using this color scheme. What do you guys think? So here we go. <laughs> I'm excited. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wet my paint again. I've wet it. I, I sprayed it at the beginning of the stream, but it's already been <laughs> an hour. So uh, it needs to be re-wetted. And I'm going to ch choose a brush. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to take a round brush. Um I'm going to take a number eight. No, that's probably too bad. I'm going to take a number six if I can. This is eight. This is six. Yeah. I'm going to take number six. And it'll be tough for me to look at the chat and uh, art at the same time. So um, if you are just joining us, hello, hello. Uh, appreciate your being here. And um, I'm going to paint and doodle. A uh, view for those of us who have trouble drawing symmetry. Side view, yeah. Um, so basically, when I, when I use reference, which is not often, and I should, I should do that more often, but I'm just, you know, focusing on the shape. So this is kind of like my normal shape. I'm just going to do one, um, what did I say, this color, and a blue. I have mud here, but I'm going to, am I going to make it less muddy? It's going to be like a, like a bright yellowish orange. I'm going to grab some of this. Mmm, that's yummy. <laughs> I like that color. I'm going to swatch my colors before I start. Because I have a feeling I'm going to have to mix the turquoise color that I'm looking for. Okay. That's not bad. Uh, after CC stream, it helps others find her channel. Oh, <laughs> Guys, thank you for asking for thumbs up. But, you know, I mean, people have, you know, the liberty to do so or not. That's fine, too. But thank you for uh, wanting to help out. That's really sweet. Okay, I'm going to do this blue. I kind of have a little bit of turquoise here going on. So I'm going to continue. So this, um, okay, so for reference, this is Indian yellow. <coughs> And brilliant orange. So brilliant, brilliant orange is a Shinhan color, and Indian yellow is M Graham. Although you can find these colors in other brands as well, but I'm just giving you what I am using right now. So, and this is Prussian blue by Senadier, which is next to Paints Gray is probably my favorite bluish tint. I absolutely love this blue. We support you, Cece. Oh, you guys are so sweet. Uh, you know, thank you very much. Uh, one way of supporting is watching my videos and letting the commercials uh, roll. Uh, not everybody can do financial support, and I'm totally aware of that. So never 
feel bad that you can't support financially. I have awesome patrons. Um, and um, watching the commercials also help. And uh, commenting is <laughs> such a great source of inspiration to me because if you don't comment, I'm not sure, you know, how I would figure out what to, what kind of videos to bring to you. So very valuable. All right. This is too blue. <laughs> uh, okay. I need a tiny bit more yellow, but... Not too much. We're getting there, guys. We're getting there. Maybe I will add a little bit of ultramarine. Mm. That's too much, but I think we're getting the right tint. So let me just add a little bit more yellow. Ah, too much. <laughs> that the um, the art of mixing color eludes me quite often. There are some colors I'm not bad at. Uh, no, <laughs> but others are, have been proven quite challenging. Could I have bought a teal? Yes. In fact, I probably have in my stash, but I'm trying to uh, stay with the same colors that I have. Okay. A little bit more. Oh, we're getting there. We are getting there. I thought I had it the second time, but... Okay, maybe pull together. Uh, oof. Yeah, they'll make mud, though, if they're mixed. Uh, I didn't realize that. Great to see the process in real time. Yeah. <laughs> it's also very nerve-wracking for me, guys, because <laughs> you see how many times I messed up. Um, yeah, these two colors are great. Uh, this is a good lesson, actually, I can show you. <coughs> Um, orange and blue are on the opposite side of the scale on the, not the scale, <laughs> the wheel, the color wheel. So they go well together, but if they're wet, they will create mud. As you can see here, it's like, if I apply, if I put blue in there, it's going to turn into a muddy blue brown. So that's one thing to consider that I have not thought about. <laughs> oh, Dina, you're not the only one. Dina or Deanna, you are not the only one that makes mud. <laughs> Gosh, I think we all do. Uh, but that's part of the learning process. Okay, so what can I do to counter that? So I can probably use, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use red in the closest proximity of the blue, so when I paint, because I do want to drop some color in uh, with the, in the butterflies, and I'm going to use, there, okay, so see what I did, so if red walks into blue, it's going to create a beautiful, whoops, <laughs> let's remove that, okay, well, <laughs> just pretend that little orange bit is not there, <laughs> hold on, <laughs> You know, it's always a surprise here. All right, so here we go. So blue and red will make uh, a nice purple. And orange and red look good together. So when I'm going to create my butterflies, I'm going to be mindful as to which color touches what. So maybe one butterfly will be a mixture of blue and red or just blue. Uh, but if there's one next to it, uh, instead of reaching for the orange, maybe I'll reach for the red. And so these two can mix together. These two can mix together. But this one and that one, ew, not so much. Uh, if you make mistakes, it gives me courage to try. That's why I leave them in. Okay. Oh, thank you, Katrina, for welcoming uh, the people that are just coming in. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Uh, cheers, by the way. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Let's go for it. I'm nervous. <laughs> Sorry for, about the cough. I'm going to try and keep it to a minimum because that's the first color that I gathered. So let's see here. 
So I'm going to do the two top ones. And I'm going to go like this. It's kind of like, and, and by the way, I, I'm i not aiming to make perfect shapes. Uh, as you know, this is really not my style. <laughs> uh, but there's nothing wrong with it either. If you want to make perfect shapes, go right ahead. Uh, it's whatever, which is fine. <laughs> I really don't mind that. And then I'm going to grab a little bit of red. You know what? I'm just going to make it well for my red. I'm just going to... Because I, dipping in the pan and going directly, um, different values of the color. Oh, thank you so much, Le Chat. Merci beaucoup. C'est gentil. Wow. Merci. <laughs> okay. And then I'm going to go the bottom, I like a teardrop shape. So I'm just going to add it like that. Oh, we've got our first butterfly. Cool. Uh, Suzanne, yes. Uh, by the way, uh, someone ha is uh, has a question concerning the money. Yes, uh, that is one way to support a live chat is to um, hit the dollar sign right underneath the live chat window. You'll see there's um, there's an emoji. Uh, it's grayed out. So there's an emoji and a dollar sign. Uh, well, it's great out for me, but uh, you can probably use that. But yes, the money goes to me. Thank you so much. That's sweet. Um, right. So we've got our first butterfly. I'm going to do a blue turquoise. -y. Actually, um, before I do that, my butterfly is a little bit dry, but you know, let's, let's just add a tiny bit of red here just for fun. Cool. You are so fun to listen to. <laughs> ah, that is a sweet comment. Thank you. I like to think that I'm funny. I, oh my gosh, guys, <laughs> thank you so much, Karma, Lee, Nash. I appreciate that. That is so sweet. Thank you. And by the way, everybody, don't feel like you were obliged to give money, okay? These are very sweet people, but you're all here and you are supporting me in different ways. And I appreciate you all. So, but I'm very grateful. All right. <laughs> um, I have a hard time receiving money as well. So <laughs> I prefer giving. It's always easier. Okay. I'm going to work also on this other page. I'm going to make this round-ish butterfly because I think it's pretty cool too. So... Uh, the other side is always tricky to do, huh? Maybe bring this up a little bit. Um, I'm going to grab a tiny bit of red, and I'm going to do the red here at the bottom. Uh, I'm not crazy about the mix that I get, though, because <laughs> this is not true uh, blue. It was mixed with a little bit of yellow. But it's not bad, right? It's cool. It's cool. We like it. We like it. Um, okay, I'm going to do a side one. Can you see my, yeah. <coughs> I'm sorry I'm not watching the chat right now. Oh, thank you, Jeanette. <sighs> you guys are so inspiring. Because if I didn't have your feedback, I would not be able to do this. Okay. So let's see, general shape, again, keeping it very simple. I'm doing a side view. I'm going to do this one all in blue turquoise and just like have fun with it. This, uh, by the way, this is the way I excuse my um, non-perfect drawing. And just to show you also that you don't necessarily have to know how to draw because we embellish. And, you know, we embellish, we interpret the way we want to. Look at this. This is so cool. See yeah. it? <laughs> oh, thank you, Deborah. <laughs> you guys. You're going to make me cry. <laughs> okay. <sighs> 
I want to do one here. Yeah, let's just go have fun. Let's just wiggle. I want to wiggle my brush. And wiggle. This reverse. <laughs> now, this is pretty much dry, but it's okay. Let's give it some pointy tips. <laughs> like that. Like that a lot. Wait, you not to apologize for it anymore. You're just better for what you do. Okay. Thank you, Joy. My goodness. <sighs> oh, you guys are amazing. Okay, a uh, little bit of a red one. How about if I do a small one? I'm thinking if I just put pressure on my brush, um, hopefully the camera, I don't know how to show you this. I think my hand will uh, hide what I'm trying to do, but let's just boink like this and boink. Make a tiny, tiny boink. <laughs> So it's basically point and drop, and it's looking weird, but I know that with doodling, we're going to fix that. <laughs> Maybe double the top one. There we go. <laughs> okay. Uh, one more here. I'm not mixing my color much, huh? I just noticed that. Okay, I want one that spans across. Oh, thank you so much, Suzanne. Uh, don't never, never wish for doing more. You're doing way more than than enough. Thank you so much. Oh, boy. <laughs> I'm very uncomfortable <laughs> with with receiving, but. Okay, I'm going to give him those little tippy wings. <laughs> this is going to get weird. <laughs> and oh, what if I were to drop in? You know what? Let's drop in a little bit of yellow here. Yeah, I can add green, right, guys? I don't have to limit myself to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Peggy, thank you so much. You guys are all so sweet. So sweet. And remember, if you have a question, I'm not watching the chat a lot, but these uh, are highlighted. These are big boxes, so they attract my attention. Um, but uh, if you have a question, uh, maybe just wait until we're done the art part. I'll come back to you uh, with my <laughs> Um But if you can't wait because you have to leave, maybe uh, ask your questions in all caps and... Uh, Hopefully, I'll be able to see it. Okay, one more orange. How many do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six. An orange here at the... Maybe a tiny one here. Let's see. Oops. Sorry about that. <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Maybe a little straight up. Oh, no. A side view here. Okay, I'm going to try and do a reverse side view. <laughs> Wish me luck. <laughs> um, oh, you know what? Hold on. <laughs> okay. Guys, use your phone because um, it does all kinds of things. I know I can mirror that. Hey, hey. <laughs> we did it. See, I mirrored the reference photo. So that way, just to make it easier on myself, you know? All right. So. Let's just do this very quickly because I have to um, allow some for some drying time before I start doodling and I don't want to detain you too long. What am I doing? 
boy. Okay. All right. We're good. It's all good. Okay. And I'm going to put a little bit of maybe Quinn, uh, Quinn Coral. I like Quinn Acridone color Coral. I will grab my lips again. Um, <laughs> Quinn Acridone Coral more than bright red. That's just a preference. Okay. So we have seven butterflies. I'm going to stop it here. Oh, thank you so much. I'm missing some of your um, sweet generosity. Thank you so much, Gator Picks. I appreciate it so much. Okay, so we're going to put this to the side. I am going to use my heat tool so that it doesn't take hours for it to dry. Hopefully, um, I will mute myself, okay? So chat amongst yourselves because <laughs> I don't want you to hear the the heat tool, okay? I'll be right back. Bye, Lucy. Thanks for hanging out with us. Uh, I appreciate your being here. Have fun with your fam. And uh, hug, well, yeah, don't hug them, <laughs> unfortunately, but um, have fun, sweetie. I'll talk to you soon. All right, I'm back. <laughs> I'm going to show you what I've been drinking these days. It's going to look really gross. This is water with uh, grated ginger. I keep ginger root in my freezer, and I have a small, tiny grater, and then I grate some to add in my water, and that's really helped these days. <clears throat> There's a lot in there. <laughs> oh. oh, yeah, that's a good question, Katrina. I appreciate that. Are you guys working on anything while I'm doing this? Hi, Mona. I didn't see you sneak in there. I didn't know that you were here. <coughs> I, appreciate, I appreciate you all for being here. Thank you so much. I'm looking at my camera up there to see if I'm still recording. And I am. Cool. All right. So <coughs> I will be doodling. I think I'm going to use the auto graphic liner so that you can see it in action. Oh, ouch. <laughs> I just stabbed myself. The point is so tiny. Uh, yeah, you can't see it because it's just so tiny. <laughs> Oh, Suzanne is working on watercolor houses. That is so cool. Elizabeth, you're doing the butterflies? Oh, this is so much fun. Yay. Okay, so I'm going to grab my reference again because of just for the body, just to get me going. Okay, so I'm going to start with this one, which is the furthest. Uh, I really like the way this person did the um, antennas and the paws. That's so cute. I'm going to do it my own way, though. <laughs> oh, you know what? Ha -ha. I'm going to use this. going to do the head and then, shh. I you know, just a blob, right? Like we're not going detail here. Uh, I know the body looks like there's... A top part and a bottom part, but we're doing one part. <laughs> one part is enough. And then I'm going to do the antennas. Uh, 
I don't like round lines. I don't know what it is. <laughs> I just can't do. Not that I can't do. I just, I don't know. It's just so much fun for me to do it this way. Uh, and the legs. Oops. And then there. We've done the legs and the legs. The hands and the legs. What did I say? <laughs> Oh, okay. Right. Now, I think I was going to doodle around the, um, I was going to say petals, the wings, but I think what I'm going to do is just introduce some patterning inside and let the patterning become the contour. I'll show you what I mean. So um, I'm going to take her bigger bigger pen <coughs> okay I've got a cool that's not much bigger <laughs> uh, where is my big one no I have a lot of fine tip pens um, no that's not it Maybe. This is, yes, uh, this is a Perma Rider 05, which is permanent, uh, but I don't intend to add any more watercolor, so that's fine. Okay, so I'm going to make circles because I love circles or dots. So I'm mixing small and big and... Just to make it more interesting, I find that that trick always works for me. And I'm not doing like details like this. Like I'm just interpreting my own patterns. So maybe up top, I will have, you know, oops, more dots. And I think at the bottom, maybe I will mix. Um, the pattern see going out of the shape just having fun this is looking really cool by the way uh, it's too bad you, you're not getting the true picture but i am recording this with the camera so i will post also uh the art part as a separate video now at the bottom uh what can we do at the bottom oh i know i can make still a little bit different Hmm. Okay, there we go. Our first butterfly is done. The colors I see are so pretty. Oh, May, really? Oh, they're much better in real life. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> polka dots. Yes, peg polka dots. Oh my gosh, I love the dots. Circles and lines. There's nothing better than that. Okay. Now, I am going to go crazy with, and this you probably won't, the camera won't pick it up, but this, I recently discovered these. Okay, hold on. Let me grab the uh, the gold. Oh, where's my gold? Ah, here it is. Okay. I'm just digging through my uh, organizers here. Uh, these two pens I've discovered recently and I cannot get enough of them. They are the reverse, the Uniball Signo. Uh, yeah, it's not gonna zoom in. Okay, they're the Uniball St. Mary-120, S as in Sam, P as in pretty. So this is the gold, and it also comes in the silver, and I'm sure other colors, but these were the only two that were interesting to me. Uh, the silver is uh, SP. This, yeah, gold! <laughs> Mona is singing. Okay, let's do it all together. Gold! <laughs> 
Uh, okay, so I think I'm going to use the silver. And what it does is that it adds this beautiful touch of um, metallic, but also glitter. <laughs> I mean, oh, I wish you could see this, but it's not focusing. Oh, I'm so sorry. You'll have to watch the recording. Just trust me on this. It is absolutely impressive. Um, I got mine from jetpans.com while well, I was in the US. <laughs> I took advantage of that. Um, I'm pretty sure you can find them um, on Amazon maybe, although I'm not sure if it's a great time to order, but yeah, see if I move, you can kind of see, ha ha, you don't see the glitter, but you will see it on uh, the other video that I will put together for you. But this is really cool. Okay, so I don't need this anymore. I am going to keep on doodling, and I'm not sure why, but I have, <coughs> oh, I can share it on IG, yes. Very good point. Okay, guys, I'm going to do something for you. I'm going to go on Instagram and I'm going to post. Um, in my stories. Okay, so if you follow me on Instagram. Yeah, it's so difficult to hear. Okay. Um, hold on, let me try and see. There we go. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to write here for my live stream viewers. Okay. Here's the silver glitter pen whoops <laughs> silver glitter pen flirt flirt pen whoa <laughs> uniball I'm just going to add Uniball so that you can go on there. Um, Uniball French, Uniball Russia, Uniball, wow. Oh, okay. There's many Uniballs. <laughs> All right. So there we go. It is on Instagram now. So if you go to my stories on Instagram or my story, you can um, see it. Okay. Cool. Great tip. <laughs> Katrina, you're doing an awesome job. <laughs> you are amazing. Greeting everybody. I appreciate that so much. Yes. Okay. So Karma had a great idea. It will be great to see all our work later on IG and we can look at them closely for inspiration. Fantastic idea. Okay. So what you can do is you can post your predictions uh, of the butterflies and make sure that you hashtag or that you tag me, I guess, at Creation CC, uh, which is, well, the way you see it. Uh, hold on. <laughs> hold on. Okay. All in one word. So if you tag me on Instagram this way, I will be seeing it. Um, and I will... Um, Post to my story in that way you can all see them, you know, if you scroll through my story. Do we need a hashtag for the group? Uh, no, if you tag me, um, I'll, I'll, oh, you know what? That's a good idea. Okay, let's do, um, what can we use as a hashtag? So that, that way if I forget to include um, your pictures in my story, we can still see all of them. Uh, how about CC butterflies? I doodle with CC. Good job. Okay, so Aisha, love it. Aisha, Aisha. Yes. 
Okay, so doodle with CC. And I'm going to take note of that because I, you know, hashtag doodle. Uh, see, I already forget. <laughs> with CC. Because that way it'll remind me to go on, um, to go look for the hashtags. You can also use this, I think, on Facebook, and I will see it. So, cool. Great initiative. All right. Let's keep on going. I am full of energy today, guys. You are giving me so much in return. Love it. Es suto Brasil. Oh, Rose, welcome from Brazil. I don't know how to say welcome in your language. I can say it in Korean. Okay. Alrighty. So, uh, of course, I have to do lines. I'm not sure why I always start on the right hand side. Uh, Z, hi, Z. Woohoo. Oh, in April. Oh, my friends are here. This is so cool. All right. Um, Z and April, if you've missed it, I'm not sure how long ago you uh, came in, but um, we're doing butterflies. As you can see, we're doodling. And I just posted, <coughs> excuse me, on Instagram, uh, the glitter pen that I used for these, the inside of these circles, because my camera is not that great. So you can go on my story on Instagram and check that out. Okay. And I'm using the Otho graphic liner to doodle, uh, as well as the pocket brush pen by Pentel for the body. And I've also used this uh, bigger pen, which is Perma Rider 05. Okay. Um, lines? Yes. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna flip to the other side. I'm gonna do the little head, and I'm going to use the pocket brush pen and flatten that. We had a little dot at the end there. You know, I've never done butterflies, but they're so much fun to make. Wow. Okay. Tell me what uh, the first person that suggests a pattern that I should be using for this little one. Whether it's lines, squares, circles, hearts, flowers, you name it. How do I fill in <coughs> this butterfly? Dots? I've done dots, though. Circles, I've done the circles. Okay, besides something that I haven't done yet. Diamonds. Ooh. Okay. Okay, diamonds. <laughs> okay, a diamond. I don't know if, whoops, uh oh, I hit the camera stand. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> Hard stripes, herring bones. Oh my gosh. Okay, um, I need to do the diamonds because that was the next thing. Okay, so let's see here. How do I do diamonds? I'm going to do a plus. I'm not sure that this is going to be very visible to you, though. Okay, so I'm making a plus. And I am joining them kind of like a, a webbing motion. So that is my, that's my diamond. <laughs> okay. Um, this one could use a little bit of outlining though. So I'm going to, cause it's so tiny. There, I'm just, there we go. Join. This is actually fun to do. I never thought of these to introduce patterns. I'm trying to do them in all sorts of um, orientations so it doesn't look like all the same. That's fun. <coughs> I 
If you are just joining us and I've missed greeting you, I'm really sorry. Uh, I'm looking down on my on my paper, but welcome. Know that you are appreciated if you're here. And I hope that this brings you a little bit of joy and inspiration. Maybe you are working on something at the same time. That'd be cool. And those that are uh, watching the recording, I appreciate you all so much as well. Well, you know what I could have used? I could have used white. Oh, I just thought of something. It's an idea maybe to consider, but I'm just going to tell you. Uh, I could have do all dots, but in different colors. Like maybe use white. White would have been nice on this. And then one would be gold, and then one would be silver, and then one would be all black. That's another way of doing it. There's so many ways. So many creative ways to pattern. So there's our little diamond. <laughs> Thank you, Susan. She says, it's cool that I'm doing this right now. I, you know, I'm lonely too, guys. <laughs> so that way I feel like there's some kind of interaction. I do speak to my family online, but it's, you know, it's not while I'm arting, obviously, and we try to keep it short. Um, but this is as much for me as it is for you because I, I have the impression that you're all here with me physically. <clears throat> so it's a good thing. It's a good thing for everybody. Uh, one thing that I do also is wherever I have an intersection of lines, um, I kind of like to rhyme, round, right, poo, round it off, um, just to give it more weight. I think it makes a difference. Where's my black painting? Oh no! Oh, here it is. Let's see here. Okay, so if you're looking at this oval, you see. This these intersections, I did dot, you know, I added the dot on top, but here where you see it's rounded, well, it didn't begin this way. Like I didn't draw it rounded right off the bat. What I did is I did my lines and then every intersection I used my marker and I filled in a little bit, much like, you see here, right here. Again, I did that. And that, I think adds quite a bit of interest and more weight. Oh, I gotta go the opposite way. My screen is reversed, so so I like to do that. I think it's fun. It's a bit of a trademark, I guess. Uh, thank you so much, Vicky. Thank you so much. Uh, <laughs> hit the like button, Le shot. Thank you so much. <laughs> All right, gonna go ahead. And uh, do lines mm. <gasps> with gold. <laughs> okay. Not gold. This. Silver. I'm in. Okay. Um, so, wait. I just need to do the body first. It just gives me. Oh, I forgot the antenna. We'll correct that. Okay. Big fat body. Give you a long body, this one. There we go. And the antennas. <coughs> I'm gonna do, oops, okay. I think I just put my finger in something that was not entirely dry. <laughs> this one, I'm gonna put the antennas going the same way. Because why not? Maybe the wind is blowing. <laughs> <coughs> Up for CC's dream, it helps. Oh, okay. I have a hard time doing both. So I'm going to not look at the chat for a little bit. I'm sorry. Okay. So lines, right? I'm going to make. Oh, no. I was supposed to use. Okay. Let's mix them both. Okay, I'm gonna do black lines. 
I'm gonna go out of that shape. Just that's just because I like that. And that way you can be crooked on purpose. And if you have a shaky hand, nobody will ever know that you didn't do it on purpose. So that's my little secret right there. <laughs> Make wiggly lines on purpose. You'll feel more um, stylish. <laughs> Okay, and then instead of adding lines with the silver pen, I'm going to have, I'm going to add little dots. <laughs> JC, <laughs> hi JC, by the way, I didn't see you sneak in. I'm the doodle master. No, I don't think so, but I do love it. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, so little dots, the camera is not going to that up I know I'm sorry but my other camera will hopefully <laughs> I will post a picture of this as well in my story so that you can see it right away um, I'm not sure if my friend Diane made it Diane did you see I post this Oh, thank you, Chrissy. Bye. I hope you're all good. Stay safe, please. Okay. So let's go to my story again. Now this. Uh, it's so difficult to photograph glitter. <laughs> there we go. All right. Hashtag glitter is life. <laughs> That's not it. <sighs> you gotta have fun in life, guys, right? Glitter. Not <laughs> I can't type. <laughs> okay. Breathe, CC. <coughs> Not too deep because you're going to choke. Oh, boy. Done. Okay. Glitter is left. There we go. Okay. <laughs> so you can go on Instagram and check the story. You're welcome, JC. I wouldn't, I can't think of a better way to have fun these days than just to go online and, and you know, Talk to my online friends and create. Uh, hopefully, I'll be able to do this um, quite often. I just thought the butterflies just spoke to me today, and so I had the idea of doing that. Um, but sometimes the ideas are not always coming easily. I'm using the brush pen to do... Uh, the antennas and the legs, it's kind of difficult. Ah, une question en français. Vous faites des choses magnifiques et vous m'inspirez tellement. Merci d'être sur YouTube pour nous partager toutes vos jolies peintures. Merci beaucoup, Lola, c'est gentil. Merci d'être ici. J'espère que euh, tout va bien dans votre coin. D'où êtes-vous, Lola? Allô, c'est ici. Bonjour, Claudie! Ah! French people coming in. Love it! Okay, um, I saw an idea in the chat earlier. You guys suggested, oh, hearts. Uh, there was another one. Uh, what was it? Okay, hang on, let me just go back. There was a whole bunch of good suggestions. I would love to use your suggestions. Uh, squiggles, spiral. oh, spirals, yes, yes, yes. Spirals would be fun. The Toulouse of France. Ah, c'est fun. Okay. Ah, ben, bienvenue. <laughs> okay. So what I can do here is do, I'm going to do squiggles here. See, I find this pen now gets... 
a little bit too fat for my taste. I'm going to go out of line here. Gosh, are you even able to see this? <laughs> oh, merci, c'est gentil. Oh, what did mermaid scales? Yes. <laughs> Z, I'm so surprised <coughs> that you would um, suggest mermaid scales. So, so, so surprised. <laughs> For those of you that don't know, uh, Zandra um, is a mermaid enthusiast. <laughs> she also has an online store. Zandra, um, are you able to put a link or just give me the name? Uh, hang on. I have, I wonder if I can join in from here because I have your link saved. Uh, I think you should be able to put your link, Zandra, of your store. If you could do that, that'd be great. And I think what I'm going to do is, because I have something, this is, to me, this is kind of like an empty shape, if you want to call it that way. So I like to pair, like, for instance, here there's solid dots, and originally there were <laughs> empty circles. Oh, great. Thank you so much, Zandra. There you go. You can go check out Zandra. By the way, the rose gold that I have in my palette this guy here, which is the absolute best rose gold, bar none, the only real rose gold, um, is um, available at Zandra's shop, in case you're curious. You can just go on over to her website. Uh, it's called the PTP Rose Gold. So if you do a search on PTP Rose Gold, you should be able to find it. <coughs> okay, so what I'm thinking here is that also to break the circle thing I am going to uh, do fine fine lines for this I'm going to use my other pen because I don't trust myself with this one yeah. so I'm going to start by the middle I'm going to do several here Right, so just to give me a base, I'm going to do the same on the other side. And by the way, when I show you my patterning, I'm not trying to tell you that this is how you should do it, okay? Uh, there are so many other ways. Uh, this is just how I doodle. And I like to share what I do, but um, people have incredible ideas i don't know if you have all checked out my stories from this morning but there's this lady that did the houses with a different spin on it she uh did african huts i think or yeah little huts they are adorable <laughs> adorable and all your recreations though those that are posting and tagging me on instagram wow you guys you're awesome. You're all awesome. All right. Okay. And this one, I'm going to break a little bit of that. Oh, this is cool. Yeah, it's very fuzzy on camera, unfortunately, but um, I like this too. <laughs> Thank you, April. You like them? <laughs> I'm going to use the gold glitter. Ooh. Oh, you know what? Here, let's do the center of, oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's do the center of these squiggles with the gold. Oh, my goodness, you guys. I wish you could see this. Oh. And I'm going to put some dots on top of the body. Because why not? <laughs> okay. Let's post this. Uh, yeah, butterflies are so fun. 
I it's my first time doing butterflies like in, you know yeah it's my first time ever I don't think I've ever done butterflies <coughs> okay posting to IG um here okay ah. you kind of have to add act very quickly to capture the glitter. Ding. Okay. Next, we're going to move on to this one. What do I, oh, scales. Yes. Uh, no, I'm going to do this for the scales, Xandra, because it's the right color. <laughs> See, Sam, I'm having a hard time finding the B paper. Have they stopped selling it on Amazon? Um, I remember the last time I checked, I had a hard time as well. I don't know what's going on. I wish I knew. Um, have you tried uh, Googling just altogether, like not going through Amazon directly, but just Googling? Because I have no idea if maybe some other websites are selling it. Uh, why is it that whenever there's a good thing, it changes? <laughs> For instance, these pens, why did Muji stop the production on these? And why do we have a hard time finding bead paper? Because I really, really like bead paper. Okay, uh, this one. Okay, besides scales. Cross hatching, mm-hmm. Yep, cross hatching sounds good. Okay, so cross hatching. I'm going to, oh, the body. <laughs> it's not inspiring when there's no body. <laughs> this one has a it's kind of like a a dead bull body <laughs> for lack of not using the real idea that I had in my head <laughs> trying to keep it PG here <laughs> Okay, so antennas are done. Any suggestions for bright watercolors for a beginner? Bright watercolors? Mm. Every company has their line of bright colors. Um, I always, if you're a beginner, I always tend to say go for three primaries in the cool palette and then three warm. And then you can mix and match and create your bright colors um bright bright colors i here i'm going to show you something sorry we're taking a momentary break in the doodling <laughs> um one set that i really like for their brights because i didn't have to choose which colors are bright uh, it just came in the set is the gold class mission by magello and they have a fantastic selection of brights that come in that set i do believe this is <coughs> Excuse me, a, a set of 36 colors, if I'm not mistaken. The other way. Here you go. So this is a good one. It's an investment, though. It's quite pricey. But if, if you um, look up different brands, you can probably, um, like I would look for Opera Pink or Opera Rose, which is a very vibrant color. Azo Yellow is super bright. Um Cobalt blue, which is a bright blue. I do feel better, Annick. Uh, ah, bonjour, Annick. <laughs> Francophone, j'imagine. Oui, je me sens beaucoup mieux. Um, oui, merci beaucoup. Uh, opera pink, yes, baby. <laughs> yes, opera pink, for sure. Um, pretty excellent watercolors. $19 on Amazon. JC, are you uh, referring to uh, the set I just showed? 
for nineteen dollars, or are you talking about other another brand? Um, okay. What was I gonna do on this again? <laughs> I forgot. Oh my goodness, my head. Yeah, cobalt turquoise. Yes, another very good color. Very bright. Also, um, I'm sorry about that, uh, April. I completely forgot, but April um, sells the Renaissance uh, paints, which are excellent and for a very good price. Um, April, you can also leave the link to your store in here. Um, I have several. Actually, <laughs> my favorite um, paints gray uh, came from Renaissance. I have other colors here by Renaissance, but I do have in my other uh, paint selection, I have quite a few Renaissance colors. I think I got the set of 24, if I'm not mistaken, right, April? Yeah, so please add your link. Uh, she's it, the, the prices are super reasonable, and I love the paint. So, yes, and it's much cheaper than the set I just showed you. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah, put the link to your store if you can, um, April. I know it's a little creative me on Etsy. Okay. I still forgot what I was going to do on this. Crisscross, yes. Hash um, hatching, crisscross. Cross hatching. <laughs> okay. So let's crisscross. Um, well, hatching is more like feathery motions, right? Um, right. Maybe I will do something like this, like on the perimeter of the wings. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's do this. No, uh, no, I did. Oh, yes. Is that LinkedIn? Let me just um. Hang on, uh, April. I'm gonna try and, and do it because I don't. I'm not sure that it worked. Oops. I think this is the proper link. A little creative me. I'm not sure. You can try it from, from what I typed, April, and see if it's going to get you there. Okay. Let's keep on cross-hatching. Whoops. This way. This reminds me a little bit of a patchwork um, seam. <laughs> Almost like cross stitching, also. <coughs> like patchwork. This is so cute. I like that. Great idea. Mm. It's almost like a feathery thing going on. But I will add a tiny bit uh, of gold. <laughs> oh, you got it, Z. Yeah, 
That's it. How come mine didn't work? Oh, it's HTTPS maybe. Okay, we got it. Um, I'm thinking I'm gonna do little hearts in this one. How are we doing on time? <gasps> it's 3.30, guys. Of course, you can leave any time you want. <laughs> And should I add a little bit of white? No. <coughs> oh, hold on. Yes. Let me mute myself. Sorry about that. Um, <clears throat> Mary, I could refocus. Um, actually, I tried before I went on, and it wouldn't let me do better than that. And um, I have done another live session previous to that, and I seem to have been frozen when I played with the camera. So I don't want to trigger anything. What is going to happen is I am recording this with my overhead installation. So the uh, art part will all be recorded. So have no fear. And I'm also posting <coughs> progress photos on Instagram and my stories. So you can have a little bit of sense of what's going on right now. <coughs> Which do you prefer, pans or tubes? Um, I like the convenience of a pan set because it's, you know, if, if, if I'm buying a set with pants, that's great. But I do prefer tubes uh, because they go such a long way. And you can also have the freedom of being able to paint with a larger brush. Because obviously, to paint with a big brush in these wells, um, like for instance, a brush like this is very difficult to grab the color. So if you have a tube, you can actually, I'm gonna show you, oh, I do have, uh, where's my Renaissance palette? I have, I have a little tulip uh, ceramic dish like this. <clears throat> and if you squeeze a little bit of, of the paint from your tube directly, then you can grab the paint with a larger brush. Um, I also have ceramic dishes, which has no separators. So if I'm doing a large, large painting, um, you know, it gives me that freedom. And tubes are more expensive, but they give you a lot more. Um, but some colors, for instance, these goals that I use, they only come in pans. So I buy both. And pans are convenient because you just, you can if you if you art on the go, you can just grab the pan and, and go. Well, what keyboard is that, CC? The keyboard? This? It's for a Mac. It's just a regular small Mac keyboard. It's just wireless. <clears throat> okay. Um, I think I'm going to... This one looks a little bit plain. I don't know. I'm just going to add a couple of dots on the body. This is so cute. I love it. Okay, we're close to your... Actually, I'm going to do the scale one here uh, for Z on this. <gasps> Should I do glitter scales? <gasps> glitter scales. Gold or silver? Okay. Z, what color do you want your scales to be on this? <laughs> can you let two paints dry on a palette and then oh yeah absolutely absolutely remember what is in here when you buy um two when you buy a set with pans um it's because someone took the tube and added, or if it's done in a big manufacturer, of course, they have other ways, but whatever is in the tube is what's in here. They let it dry. So watercolor is this great thing. Uh, water, okay, silver. Watercolor is this wonderful thing where it never goes um, bad 
because it can always be re-wet, re-wetted <laughs> or reactivated with water. So that's another reason why I like this. You can't do that with acrylic paint. Okay. Oh, wait, body first. I always forget. <clears throat> It's not exactly the color scheme that I was looking for earlier, but all right. There we go. We've got our body. I'm going to do <coughs> reconstituted. Thank you. <laughs> My French gets in the way quite often. I'm going to do long antennas for this guy. <laughs> of course, the tip of his antennas are going to be also silver because why not all right let's do some scales uh i think they're just like that right oh boy you're probably can you see this a little bit i hope so um i'm gonna have to take a crash course on live streaming <laughs> to see if I can improve my camera skills. <coughs> and again, I wanna thank you all for joining us today. Um, you're making me feel so great. Ah, that was a fantastic idea. Oh, wait. I had it. Oh, darn it. Cool. Mermazing. <laughs> yeah. Mermazing. <laughs> this pen, though, I got to tell you, I'm not, this is very cheap, by the way. It's not an expensive pen, but, oh, man, if you want to spoil yourself, just check them out. They are so yummy. Oh, boy. Gosh, I love this so much. Ah! <laughs> okay. The other side is a little bit tricky because I'm in the fold, but we will do our best. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to be done. I'm not looking at the chat. <laughs> I hope I'm still in frame on my camera. Yeah. Again, if you're new, you just joined us. I am recording this with my other a uh, regular camera, so I will post the recording of the art portion in better quality. Uh, it will be a separate video. So you have three videos to look at <laughs> tomorrow. <laughs> it's all or nothing with me. Oops. <laughs> My fish kills are suffering a little bit. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. Can you see this? This is so cool. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm going to add stripes on the body just for fun. Okay. I'm going to post that to IG as well. I would ask only to know about the liquid watercolor I get. I got the Marabou graphics and would like to know how they compare to the pan watercolors before investing. I have not used these paints that you're referring to, uh, the liquid watercolors. I have... Um, where are they? I have the Hydras. 
I keep forgetting to use them, honestly. Oh, thank you so very much to Painted Pig. I appreciate that. Thank you so much for your support. Um, yeah, these ones, um, I think by nature, if I'm not mistaken, most liquid watercolors are very potent, meaning they're highly pigmented. And um, a little goes a long way. I would just like put a very, very tiny dot and then dilute with water. Um, these are light fast. I think, um, are they? yeah. There's also Eco Line, which is another uh, popular liquid watercolors, but or Ecoline. I'm not sure that these are light fast. So if you're just going to watercolor and uh, not put your pieces on the wall uh, uh, or expose them to air or sunshine, if you're watercoloring in a book, that's great. You don't need to worry about light, light fastness. But I, on the other hand, use, um, I, I, I do sell some of my original. So I'm very mindful of that. I know these ones are light fast, which means that they won't fade uh, so quickly. So that's the extent of my knowledge about liquid watercolor. Um, sorry about that. I can't tell you more than that. Okay, I'm going to pose the mermaid um, just for Z. <laughs> Okay. Oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> uh, how should I call this? A butter maid? <laughs> that sounds wrong somehow. <laughs> Where do you sell your originals? Uh, I will eventually on my website. Um, it's the store is closed right now because I was going on vacation and, <laughs> and um, I wasn't here to ship anything. I'm also working on more watercolor journals. So um, uh, hold on, roommate scales. I will advise everybody once it's up and running. Oops, roommate scales. Okay. Uh, <laughs> you gotta have fun, guys. You gotta have fun. <laughs> All right. <coughs> Last one. Well, I kind of like the composition of this. Uh, can you hold it up to the screen? I don't have IG. Oh, I don't think it's going to um, help much. Hold on. It's not going to focus um, here. You can get a little bit of a, an idea. But uh, as I've explained earlier, you are going to get the art video with my good camera. So you'll get to see that reflection, okay? And I'm sorry about that. I promise I will learn more. Do you know, CC, the butterfly called Isabelle? No, I need. C'est quoi? Est-ce que c'est un livre ou uh, une pièce de théâtre? Sorry, that's French, guys. <laughs> French people. <laughs> um, no, je suis pas familière avec ça. Ah, uh, Lynn also gave you, oh, thank you, Lynn. Thank you so very much. I'm sorry, I didn't see, I didn't see that go by. Where do, uh, did I miss other questions? What brand of gel pens do you use or recommend? Uh, gel pens, I don't use a lot for doodling, um, but the Sakura ones are great, but these two are, they're special. <laughs> these are by Uniball. And they're glittery. It's their sparkling, yeah, sparkling lines. And I only have uh, the silver and the gold, but these are excellent. Like, oh my gosh, the glitter that comes out of the, they don't dry up. I haven't not have any problems with uh, them drying up. So I recommend. Okay, last one, last one. <laughs> uh, 
Okay, let's do little hearts because we need, we all need love. I'm going to do an outline for this one. Okay. And, oh, I forgot to do the body. Of course. the antennas <coughs> <coughs> oh bye Z thanks for hanging out oh Patty okay that is so cool how's your foot Patty uniball jump pens are awesome yes Katie you're absolutely right they are amazing okay I was going to do little hearts. I think I'm going to do them with this. I'm going to try something. Uh, okay, I'm going to use the tip and I'm just going to go like this. Oh, this is cute. Okay, I'm going to turn my work instead of turning my hand because. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Oh, this is cool. Oop. They're like tiny teardrops. Uh, someone already asked what kind of pen you're using for the bodies. It's the same as this one. So this is the pocket brush by Pentel. Eh, again, you won't be able to see P-E-N-T-E-L. It's called the pocket brush pen uh, available on Amazon and also on jet pens. I'm pretty sure. Oh, thank you. Um, April. Yeah, that's the one. Thank you, April. Um, let's do one like this. I'm trying to keep them small, but they keep getting bigger. <laughs> hmm. Okay, um, I'm going to finish this and then I'm going to reposition the camera. And um, are you guys good to go until what time is it? Oh my gosh. Um, I'm probably going to be on for until four o'clock. So if you have any questions, uh, just wait a little bit and, until I can do the chat or watch the chat a little bit more. And I'll be able to answer your questions. This is so cool. This is so cool. Okay. Um, I don't want to overdo with the hearts, though. I think I'm going to do... Uh, maybe, I don't know, little flowers? Little, like, tiny flowers? Like a five-petal-ish? kind of flower oh yeah and I can dot the centers with the glitter pen or white maybe maybe white hmm. questions about how do I fill in the black on my larger recycled doodle pieces um, I am doing that as a Patreon reward I'm doing a video on it like a full-on demonstration on my Patreon uh, for the reward for this month. It's not done yet, but it's coming up because uh, I think this person was a patron. <laughs> so uh, look forward to that. Uh, Patty, I missed. Uh, are you leaving, Patty, or you're still here? I know I asked about your foot and I forgot to watch the chat, so I'll text you. <laughs> Monica um, yeah I get happy when I create I get happy when I talk to you guys because it's so much fun uh, I have to go okay bye Gail thank you so much for hanging out with us uh, yeah glitter for some reason I'm not feeling the white today 
Um, I think I'm having too much fun with the glitter pen. That could be it. <laughs> Highly probable. <laughs> but uh, I think it's because I have a hard time getting it going. Okay. Um, uh, here we go. Little dots of white. Of course, I'm going on the weight of the paper. That's not going to work. Okay, here we go. Ah! This is so cool. How fun is this? Please, 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 please make butterflies. Tag me on Instagram at, what was it again? Doodle with, hashtag doodle with CC. If you want to recreate your version of butterflies or even the little houses. Right? These are super simple. I wasn't really feeling all that great that day, honestly. But um, make sure you tag me, and that way I can see what you're doing, and um, hopefully we'll remember to post your recreations in my story on Instagram. Oh, hug, hug, hugs. Okay. Uh, all right. Let me just close your eyes. I'll, I'll, we'll go black for a second, Okay. Not totally, because I'm afraid it's <laughs> it's going to shut down on me again. Uh, I'm just switching you around, guys. Whoa! <laughs> Not the view that I want. Okay. Oh boy. Um, <laughs> hold up. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> oh, I hope I'm not going to lose you. Okay. Oh, gosh. Are you still with me? Are we still here? <laughs> that was funny, actually. <laughs> and the best... Jan, are you serious? Oh boy. Okay. Uh, okay, I took a screenshot so I don't forget. Oh, that's interesting. I want to check that out. Ah! They really make me happy. Um, the red kind of is jarring to me. But um, it's okay. I'm good with that. Okay. So if you have any questions, uh, I'm willing to go up to 415 if you have more questions. <coughs> you see me, Patty? <laughs> well, that's one for YouTube thumbnail. <laughs> At least I didn't have fake teeth in my mouth, Patty. <laughs> Little inside joke. Um, you can find the micro pentel brush pen at Hobby Lobby. Wish I had known that while I was in the States. It says XF on the front of the package. Okay. I'll try to find that. What was the hatching again? The hatching? Um, it's uh, Why is it focusing now? Okay. Here it is. Uh, it's kind of like you make little marks, like little quick marks in one direction, then you go back and you make in another direction. It's a technique that is mostly used uh, for people that do sketching. Uh, they add um, shading shadows with this. That the joke is outside. <laughs> yeah, Patty. What does the ginger water do for you? Oh my goodness. Uh, I use ginger all the time if I have a sore stomach, if I feel nauseous, if I'm not digesting well, if I feel, um, if, for instance, last week when I had the flu, I ingested <laughs> ginger. Uh, I almost sniffed it at some point. Um, don't let it get up your nose because it's really potent. Um, it hurts. 
<clears throat> it was actually a nurse who told somebody that I knew uh, because I had uh, the stomach flu and I couldn't get over it. And the nurse said, you could give her all kinds of medication, but tell her to add ginger to her tea or to her water, her drinking water. And it works like a charm. Like, I swear by it. So, uh, yeah, doodle with CC on Instagram. Um, Fianet, if you want to um, recreate these, if you want me to see your artwork, uh, that would be awesome. Uh, there's no other question. Thank you so much for your time. My pleasure. Okay, I think I'm going to... Um, Yes, you need to get by the ginger root. Uh, I peel the top part because it's quite tough. And then I put it in the freezer. I cut it up in big chunks like this. I put it in the freezer. And then when you need it, just um, take a chunk. And I have a small grater. Just grate it over your water. And it flavors the water nicely. Or even if you can eat ginger like this, even if it's pickled, I'm pretty sure it does the job. But um, yes. Um, okay, uh, a few questions. Uh, have you found a worthy replacement for your Muji? Yes, I did. Uh, in fact, I showed it. It Again, please keep in mind that the Muji is non-permanent. So the replacement is these two here. Uh, okay, so the Uniball Signal DX and the um, Pilot high tech C. So the Uniball Signo DX comes in 0 0.38 millimeter as well as 0 0.28 millimeter. And the high tech pilot, the pilot high tech C, where are they? I took them out earlier. Can't find them. Um, oh yeah, they're here. High tech C. 25 millimeter. Fantastic. They have a ballpoint tip, which is what I'm looking for, uh, but they're non-permanent. So if you're not going to add anything over that, you're fine. Uh, let's see. What are your favorite colors from Kramer? <sighs> Boy, honestly, I absolutely adore all their metallic colors by Kramer, but I haven't explored Kramer like their full array of colors. So I can't really guide you on that. Um, yeah, I for now I would recommend the glitter, uh, not the glitter, the metallics. And I would love to put together for myself a little set uh, of Kramer that I like, because the colors that I got, although very good, because they sent me a set as a thank you, uh, I can't mix them together properly. And for me, uh, paints have to mix well. So that particular color selection, I wasn't too crazy about it, but they're great paints, of course. Um, but uh, I do love, um, April had sent me a set of 24 of the Renaissance uh, colors. I pulled them all apart. They're all like <laughs> all together in one batch, but they're great. Um, so if you're looking for a good set, uh, light, fast colors, I would recommend the set of 12 or 24 uh, by Renaissance. I think that is it for the question. So I'm going to, uh, when will you be live next? Mona, I don't know. <laughs> uh, it'd be great if I could do this on a regular basis, but I just don't know if I can commit to that. I'm very bad at commitments. Uh, I'm not very uh, regular, consistent. <laughs> So I'm working on that. There's I and I also have a lot of backlog to deal with. So I will do my best. I thank you all so very much for being here with me today. You brought joy to this little gal. Uh, it's beautiful sunshine outside. I feel fantastic. So I thank you so very much. I hope that this little get together has allowed you a few hours of you know, relief from all that, all that's going on. Um, I also want to uh, wish you all the best during this time. And again, I'm not going to dwell on that because we all have our own, um, you know, we live in different countries and uh, we all have different um, uh, consignes. 
what is it in English, directions to follow. So I hope that you keep safe and healthy and um, keep arting. And don't forget to tag me on Instagram if you do the butterflies or the little house or anything you want me to, to see. Uh, I appreciate it all. Thank you so very much for all your support, guys. You are awesome. And um, I will repeat this for sure. For sure. I will try my best to entertain you and to entertain myself at the same time. So bye, guys. <laughs> bye. You're all very welcome. <laughs>